how to get away with murder. <laughs> All right, so how to get away with murder opens up with the flash forward. Of course, we see all legal eagles, right? Then we see Wes with a gun. But the episode opens in the courtroom. The DA and Elise are still fighting verbally. And at the end of the fight, Alicia says to her, you messing with the wrong bitch. <laughs> and then you see her on her own case and she's defending her client. And you just have to look at this whole scene. It doesn't really matter who she's defending. I have to say that because it's all filler as far as I'm concerned. We want to see Viola, what's happening with her character. But what's interesting is that this woman, Viola Davis, won this Emmy Award for being Elise Keating. You can see why. The inflection of her voice, her attitude when she's talking to people, whether she's degrading them or being condescending, it doesn't matter. She's great, right? <laughs> okay. So she's looking down at him. She's talking mean. Love it. So Annalise's facial expressions, her voice inflection, priceless. Uh, it's an interesting scene where Nate gets together with Eve, which is the fam key character, the ex-woman uh, actress. All right, so they're in the car together and it's almost uncomfortable when you look at it because they both made love to Annalise. Uh, they both had her in a sexual way. So you can tell he's kind of feeling Famke's character out, Eve, trying to see where the borders are. You know, like, uh, so, you know, what's at least to you? <laughs> and she's kind of feeling him out too, in a way, yeah, what's at least to you? And she doesn't say that, but I'm just saying, you could tell her just trying to feel each other out because they're both interested in her in a sexual way. So as far as the trial is concerned, Nate's wife's blood was tested and there was no sign of drugs. So they dismissed the case, you know, and that's the end of that. But we all know that, uh, yeah, something had to have happened. And Wes already knows that something was tampered with and he resents it, you know? He's like, who tampered with the blood results? They should have found the drugs in there because we know, or he knows, that yeah, there was some drugs passed through there. He's been eavesdropping and sneaking around because he's sneaky too. He's just as sneaky as Annalise. Well, maybe not quite. <laughs> but he's sneaky too. Famke, Eve, meets Annalise in this beautiful hotel room. They have champagne and I guess, you know, they make love. As much as Annalise and Eve are intimate on a physical level, they're not as intimate on a emotional level because Annalise won't tell her what's really going on inside her mind. Annalise holds a lot in because, you know, she has so many dark secrets and so many dark places that she goes. Because Eve knows there's something going on with her and Wes too, but she's not saying, right? She doesn't want to talk about it. Bonnie is waiting for Annalise when she gets home and boy, Bonnie gives her an earful. Annalise loves to play this whole thing. You know, I did it for you. I did it to protect you. She's saying this over and over again to everybody. You know, it doesn't matter who it is. And a lot of people are coming back at her, but Bonnie in particular says to her, no, you didn't do it for me. Annalise says, yeah, you succeeded because of me. You know, I protect you, I do this for you, I do that for you. And Bonnie's like, no, I succeeded in spite of you. So there's a lot of bad blood again with Bonnie and uh, Annalise. Bonnie is trying to get her to admit, you know, that she's been manipulative and all these things. And Annalise won't do it. But what Annalise says is very telling. She says, I don't know how to love anybody. She admits it, she says it right out, but I think most of us kind of saw that coming, right? Because again, everybody's trying to kill you, Annalise. Annalise, what happened to you? Bonnie just says to her very viciously that she wants Annalise to die. All right, so we're setting it all up. Everybody hates Annalise. <laughs> so there's so many suspects. I said this weeks ago. Yeah, we don't know who could kill you, Annalise. There's too many suspects, I don't know. Now Bonnie's mad at you too. All right, so here we go. The last scene shows the DA's body and we see it free falling from the top of the building on down. <laughs> the blood splattering there it is. But we don't see who threw her. Who threw her over? Who threw her down there? How did she get down there, right? We just have to watch and find out. 
So until we meet again, it's Renee Stanley for Movie Review Relay. God bless.